Professor Hiraku Nakajima, thank you so much for joining us on CGTN. Yeah, it's my uh, pleasure. Before we start our interview, would you like to briefly introduce yourself and your work on geometric representation theory? So my field is geometric representation theory. This is a field in pure mathematics. And the representation theory, so some kind of organizing concept, or organizing philosophy of the symmetry. For example, square has symmetry and a circle. Sometimes we consider some shape which we cannot draw on the blackboard. It's only in our imagination. But nevertheless, we have some language to describe uh, shapes. And the geometry is about those shapes. As we approach the midterm of your term as president of the International Mathematical Union, in addressing global challenges, how do you plan to uh, promote collaboration among different mathematicians from different countries and cultures in your term? The communication among the, the researchers are very important. The main activity of the International Mathematical Union is the uh, International Congress of Mathematicians. So it will be held every four years. And also, uh, we put the emphasis on diversities. The support for the uh, mathematician from the developing country is one of the yeah, target of the uh, IMU. We prepare some fund and some budget to support the uh, various research activities in developing countries. And we have uh, lots of good, very good uh, application from those countries. And, and also, mathematics is relatively cheap, cheap compared with other sciences. Because we don't need, uh, most of the time, we don't need uh, big, uh, big equipment, uh, yeah, equipment for, for the experiments. Yeah. What are your thoughts on the increasing role of artificial intelligence and machine learning in mathematical research? And I'm wondering if AI, in turn, can help human with mathematics. Yeah, first of all, I think that uh, the AI or machine learning it themselves are interesting subjects to, for the research. But for the usage of the AI or machine learning to the actual mathematical research, I, at this moment, it's so far uh, very limited. AI is quite efficient to analyze big, big data, but uh, in mathematics, somehow we need to start first building the data. The machine learning might, might be useful for mathematical education. In the class, uh, usually the knowledge flows from teacher to student. But of course, uh, those teachers really want to receive the feedback from students. Communication between the, the teacher and the students means you have lots of lots of data uh, flows between them. So as, as, as I said, uh, the AIs are good to deal with such kind of big data. We know that many professions require talent, especially math, uh, as well as the right instruction. What message would you like to convey to young mathematicians who just start their careers? Japan has the culture uh, for the mathematical education, I think which is uh, typical in Asian countries. So maybe it uh, might be the same as in China. The students start with very competitive exams in, in mathematics. And some people are good at for competition and some people are not. And uh, that's one of the reasons why some people really like, like us, uh, like, like mathematics, but uh, some people don't like. Oh, I, I'd like to say for young people that math mathematical research is, is different from competitions. Usually, uh, problems has no answers in advance. So it's not the goal to find the answer as quick as possible. The goal of the mathematical research is to find the answer to unsolved questions. So you, you can spend many hours, to, to many days or many years, until you solve the, the problem. So even if you are not good at exam, I think it's there a good, very good chance to become a good researcher. Personally, I feel most exciting if I find a problem which nobody knows. So do you think the students who are selected from those contests are really uh, good for mathematical research? Yeah, it's, uh, yeah usually it, it's quite often it is very good. One student, I don't remember how many gold medals he, he got. I, I supervised him. He, he became a good researcher after that. And I just want to say that this is one of the factors of mathematical research. And 
uh, there are many other factors. There are some people, good researchers, who are not good at those kind of uh, contests. Thank you, Professor Nakajima. Thank, Thank you. you.